Philadelphia's mayor and police commissioner spoke today following a mass shooting over the weekend. Nine people were shot at what officials called an illegal block party in West Philadelphia. Three of the victims did not survive. Now the search is on for those responsible. Action News reporter Sharifa Jackson is live outside of police headquarters with an update today. Sharifa. Yeah, Sarah, we're learning a lot more about what happened Sunday and also the investigation to follow. Philadelphia police tell us that they did locate a gun, recovered a gun at the hospital. They also say two of the victims who were fatally shot were brothers. They say they were attending this illegal block party when a gun battle broke out. 33 hours after the deadly mass shooting on North Alden Street. The incident that took place over this weekend is not and will never be the story of Carroll Park. City officials, including Mayor Sherelle Parker and Police Commissioner Kevin Bethel, returned to the same block. Our administration is going to be relentless about showing up in every community, every time, to say that it is never okay to put an entire neighborhood at risk like this. It was just after 2 a.m. Sunday. Police received nearly a dozen calls about the shooting. More than 100 people were attending what authorities say was an illegal block party. The event quickly turned violent after a physical fight escalated to gunshots. Altogether, nine people were shot, all between 23 and 33, three of them fatally. Police say the bullets that pierced car doors, the video surveillance, and three guns that were recovered helped tell the chaotic story. So it was not an individual who just came up and randomly started to shoot down the block and shoot nine people. There is an absolute uh, gun battle that goes on. District Attorney Larry Krasner was there. He says he condemns this violence. We will catch the people who did this. We will get justice from those people. Questions were answered and promises made, but for some people who live in the community. About eight, seven, eight, it was already, you know, going on. It wasn't that big at first, but then it got bigger. They are wondering if this shooting could have been avoided. As the police usually do at 8.30, they pull up and they blow their horns and they tell people to clear the block and open it up, but that never happened. And the six uh, surviving victims rushed to the hospital, all expected to be okay. Four already released from the hospital. Police, they say they really need the public's help with this case. We're live from Philadelphia Police Headquarters, Sharifa Jackson, Channel 6 Action News. Sarah. Okay, Sharifa, thank you.